Hi, this is John Kite, and this is an Agilastic Overview for Teachers. Agilastic is an easy-to-use, tech-enhanced assessment solution that provides instant data for instructors. Students get additional practice and experience with the different tech-enhanced question types, while teachers get immediate insights at the class, student, standard, and question levels. Agilastic is all about time savings. Most of the questions are auto-graded. In fact, you can assign tests that are completely auto-graded all the time if you prefer. Agilastic is easy to learn and easy to use, and the reports show you where to focus your time. There are 51 question types in Agilastic in 10 different question type categories. And all these question types are available in the free version, and all of these question types are available to author in the free version. You can start creating a test by going to the item bank. And here I'm filtering by the public item bank, and we have different grade levels we can filter by, subjects, standards, question types, DOK, difficulty level, tags, and we can sort by popularity or recency or things of that nature. And then there are many actions here to the right. We can preview a question, we can clone a question and make our own version of it. We can add a question as it is, we can favorite a question for later, um, or we can go ahead and author a new item from scratch. Or if you prefer, you can start at the test library. Again, there's the same filters, the same sorting capabilities. In this case, I've um, filtered by Agilastic certified, which means I'm only looking at official authors. And then if we like a test, we can preview it, we can go ahead and assign it outright, or we can make an, our own version of it with all the flexibility available um, from the item bank. So for example, we can reorder questions, delete questions, add questions, author questions, clone questions, et cetera. So speaking of certified authors, here are a few examples of them. Achieve the Core, our own content team, Engage New York, Illustrative Mathematics, state test practice items from your Department of Education, and there are more than that. So let's go ahead and take a tech enhanced test from the standpoint of a teacher and a student. So we're gonna see Patrick take his test in Safari. So Patrick is ready to go ahead and take that test. So Patrick can go ahead and start. And this first one is a drag and drop labeling question aligned to NGSS standards. I wanna point out that you can bookmark questions if you wanna come back to them. You can navigate through different questions as a student if you want to. And there's a couple of accommodations, the magnification feature and the color contrast feature. This next question is a reordering or resequencing question and we're gonna reorder things from smallest to largest. This next question is a tech enhanced question for younger learners. I'm gonna use Scratchpad here and show my work. This has been particularly helpful with distance learning where teachers are not available to look over a student's shoulder, for example. And as a student, I can show teachers evidence of my understanding, the steps I'm taking to answer a question uh, or any other information I want to with this notepad tool that teachers will see on their side. Uh, there's also really nice features such as, you know, we can add rulers and, you know, measure angles and things like that. So again, I can leave Scratchpad, I can come back as the student, we'll go to the next question. And here's a graphing question. Here is a manually graded question. We're drawing two lines that are perpendicular. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll draw a couple lines. And we'll explain that they're perpendicular because they intersect at a 90 degree angle. You might recognize Scratchpad here. Uh, that is Scratchpad again, as part of this drawing response question. And here is our essay component of the drawing response question where we can explain why these are perpendicular lines. This next question is a video question. So I'll play just a few seconds. And can you by no drift of conference get from him why he put- And then we can answer the question down below. There's also something called cross out or answer eliminate 
Whereas a student, I can cross out choices that I don't think are correct. So I'll get this partially correct. And then this next question is a highlighting or sentence response question. Uh, meanwhile, teachers are able to see all of this in real time. So Patrick, I mentioned the partially correct one. We're actually working on the next one, but we haven't submitted anything. But all of this information is in real time. And I just clicked down into Patrick's work accidentally, by the way, <laughs> but this is good to see. We can actually see what's going on in real time on Patrick's uh, assessment. We can also click down to the question level. So for example, if we're looking at question five, we can see everyone who's attempted uh, this question on uh, the perpendicular lines. And you can see where I've left question level feedback and where I've uh, provided scores. And that's something that the teacher can manually grade. So I'm able to see all this in real time. I mentioned time savings before. Um, you probably have already kind of recognized this, but let's say for example, on Friday's review time, I was going to spend a lot of time on questions two and four. Well, I might want to cover four a little bit, but time could be much better spent on question eight. So not only, only is Edge Elastic giving you time back, but it's giving you the insights to know where to focus uh, your time and, and your review with students. So we'll go on to the next question. And here's a passage-based question. We can scroll down to look at the different passages uh, and read them. Uh, we can highlight the passages. We can change our visibility options. And here we'll go ahead and answer a question to the right. And then finally, here's a drag and drop qu question type, a social studies map sort of labeling question. So I can go ahead and answer this. And students will get more fluent and familiar with answering all these different question types that uh, will you know, be available on those end of year tests. So um, they're getting practice on the question types as well, as well as familiarity with online testing, additional practice, and potential feedback from the teacher at the test and question level, and any feedback available from the solutions written by the content author. Um, for example, Engage New York is certified content that has really nice, rich, stepped out solutions too. So anyway, if I wanted to bookmark, I could. And once we submit, I can see where I bookmarked if I want to go back there. I can also see anything I skipped in gray before we go ahead and submit our test. And in the free version, I can see all or nothing. In this case, um, it may be premature for me to see things that have yet to be graded, but this is what I see. The teacher can provide test and question level feedback for the student, and the student has access to that feedback provided that the teacher has given that student the visibility to see it. So anyway, that's a little bit on Edge Elastic. And you can sign up for free. Go here, the top right, join for free. There's also a resources page with a lot of helpful links to videos on trainings and webinars. And uh, please check out our YouTube channel and social media. And really want to thank you for exploring the free version of Edge Elastic.